fairly easy way to show a million dollars worth of responsibility on your resume. And probably not what you want to hear, but get into the food business. It's I've come across people that have ran, you know, million dollar stores selling fast food. And you can you can fluff that up on a resume to the point of saying, "Hey, I was responsible for the operations of, you know, this restaurant to the tune of a million dollars." So you get just to get started, you get into something like a Jersey Mike's, and I know like you got to start at the bottom, but hey, you got to put some effort in and climb the ladder. This store alone, I want to say average yeah, Jersey Mike's I read does like six hundred plus thousand dollars, and I bet the the stores that do well they're probably you know over a million. That's just a guess. But you step you start off by getting in somewhere like a Jimmy John's or a Jersey Mike's, probably just making sandwiches. You work your way up, which in this economy where there's no workers, you can actually become a manager really fast if you're reliable, you're dependable, you're trustworthy, and you work hard. Get that done, and then make a move if you have to. If you don't see opportunity here, then you go try to move up to another restaurant, you know, restaurant manager at Buffalo Wild Wings. You probably need a little more experience than that. Look for a larger operation, something that's doing more money. Chipotle Grill does a, does a hell of a lot of money, Starbucks. You spend some time in those places, and the next thing you know, you're responsible for a million-dollar-plus operation. <clears throat> now your resume shows that you are a manager, you've dealt with high six-figure, low seven-figure operations, you're a trustworthy person. Now you can start sitting back and go, where else can I kind of parlay this into? Now this opens a door to maybe jobs at like Amazon or other corporate places because they realize you're a hardworking, dependable employee. How many people do you think making 40, 50 grand a year at Amazon, for example, have ever had the responsibility of a million dollar operation? These are the types of things that people are always worried about. Well, I don't want to do that work or I don't want to do that job. But you want you want to be able to put that line on your resume that says I got a million dollars of responsibility in my back pocket. So it's not always about doing what you love. It's where do I get the experience and the background I need to get the job I want? How do I use these the two or three years I might have to spend doing these jobs to get my resume built up? Do that stuff to get the job I want, right? It's, we don't want to do that. We think that's because we breathe air every day that the job we want should be open right down the street from us and it should pay us exactly what we want. Doesn't work that way. But you know, if you're not gonna to go to college or you're trying to get someone else to pay for your college, these aren't dead end jobs. These aren't junk jobs. You get in ground floor, Panera Bread, some of these places, you work your way up, they give you the training, you get a hell of a lot of experience. I think a Panera Bread does like two, two and a half million. There, there's things you could put on your resume that even if you're responsible for half of that operation, you might say you're still got a million dollars of responsibility that you managed and led a team of 12 people on a shift or you did X amount of training, this is where you get your experience. So I give people this advice, if you're not gonna go to college route and spend 50 or $100,000 on a degree that you don't wanna get, that you don't wanna go in the debt, you get in somewhere and you start busting your ass. And let's always keep in mind, you have to think about we're a very me, me, me world. What's a company going to do for me? What, you know, what are they offer me, 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 me? If you really want to succeed in a career, ask yourself, what does the company need? What does the company want? And if you can give them what they need and what they want, your career will boom much faster. Obviously, if you're running our Jersey Mike's, they're going to they're gonna need people that show up on time. They're going to need people that work hard, that smile, that are nice to the customers, that can you know deal with the bad customers with a smile still, that can have energy, that can uplift the other workers around them. All these things, every, every employer wants these things. Reliable, dependable, trustworthy. You know they want that, so give it to them. That's how you become the supervisor, and that's how you move up to the manager. If you look at the turnover rate of most of these joints, you know, you'll get a manager opportunity, who knows, within 12 months, because no one sticks around. Grind it out. 
and have patience and then move up to that supervisor and manager spot. And then once you get that, then maybe you start looking around. Do that job for a while and, and show, show your next employer that you could make it as a manager for a while. You don't want to get the manager and leave in two months because then it seems like you couldn't handle the job. Get that manager job, grind it out. Show because you run the store so well that sales went up 7%. This is all great stuff on a resume. Now you can start thinking about, well, I want to get a job managing you know, a higher end you know, full service restaurant or I want to parlay this over to the corporate world. There's so many things here that can, there's so many opportunities that can get started here by making a sandwich. By, by rolling burritos at Chipotle Grill, if you go into it with a mindset of this is what I'm trying to achieve, not this is just another job so I can pay my rent and just get by. There are opportunities even at the lowest job. So this is how you get a million dollars of responsibility on your resume. You know, it's that easy. There's people that tell you it's not, not that easy because they don't want to do the work. And if you want to do the work and you have the ambition and drive, you can succeed. The best part of it is, you don't got to go rack up the college debt. You know, some of these jobs, I mean, $40,000, $60,000 a year to work in technically an unskilled field. And you got some of your friends coming out of college who are fifty, dollars hundred grand in debt and they're making the same amount of money. And then you got three or four years of work experience on them. It's one of those things, if you got into Amazon when you're 20 years old, do you think you're only making forty grand 10 years later? Assuming that you show up on time, you don't call off, you're a good worker, and blah, 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 blah. No, if you bust your butt on Amazon 10 years, you're probably doing pretty good. You might even surpass some of your friends that went to college. Anyways, when you look at what some of these places make revenue-wise and the opportunities, I saw, oh, I saw, <laughs> I saw a commercial, maybe a Super Bowl or before the Super Bowl, where it said, you know, 95% of... Uh, Domino's franchisees, you know, started off working for one of the stores. What if you get into a Jersey Mike's or a Jimmy John's or one of these places and you learn the business inside and out and then you open up your own? You know, maybe now you're making close to six figures or more running your own store because you've mastered that skill. I'm just not sure, does, does high school teach you this? Does college teach you this? Does anyone teach you this? That... Go master a craft and save your money, bust your ass, and good things can happen very early in life. You don't have to wait until you're 40 years old to finally make some money. Anyways, here's my, uh, my tip of the day anyways on how to go make some cash. Got any comments, drop one below. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.